typhoons. What are typhoons? Typhoons or cyclones are natural disasters that can cause damage to man, animals, and the environment. A typhoon is formed when a series of clouds form a spiral pattern. This formation usually reaches several kilometers in diameter. The pattern moves with great strength in a counterclockwise direction powered by strong winds. They usually sound like... The Philippines has numerous mountain ranges and challenging terrain that influence the speed, intensity, and circulation of tropical cyclones in the previous year. Land interaction may change the track of a typhoon, especially when the land is mountain. The rugged terrain and mountains can disrupt the center of a typhoon's circulation. The friction over land increases considerably over water, which weakens the storm formation. Typhoons may weaken by passing or moving on mountain islands. PSWS or Public Storm Warning Signals are, are raised during meteorological condition. The so, but as I use a system drop. called the public storm warning signal with five warning levels to describe the intensity of the storm, each level corresponds to a radius wind speed and the approximate numbers of hours wherein strong winds are or what rains are expected from time that warning was first issued. PSWS number one. A tropical cyclone will affect a locality. Winds of 30 to 80 kilometers per hour may be expected, and at least 36 hours of intermittent rains may be expected within 36 hours. When a tropical cyclone develops close to a locality, a shorter length time of occurrence of the wind will be specified in the warning bulletin. PSWS number two. A tropical cyclone will affect the locality. Winds of greater than 60 kilometers and up to 100 kilometers may be expected in at least 24 hours. And some houses will be damaged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. PSWS number 3. A tropical cyclone will affect the locality. Winds of greater than 100 km per hour up to 185 km per hour may be expected in at least 18 hours. And the crops, yeah, from yeah. the, from the, oh my god, yeah. The plants will die. PSWS number 4. A very intense typhoon will affect the locality. Very strong winds of more than 185 kilometers may be expected in at least 12 hours. Oh, no! PSWS number 5. The typhoon will be so strong that all of your family will be dead. Please evacuate immediately. Thank you, and have a good day. Oh no! Typhoon Preparedness Typhoon preparedness is important for our lives, but some of you may not even know how to prepare for a typhoon. One step is to check social media for any updates. Another is to check the radio. Of course, you need to check outside. Don't, don't, don't jump off. Also, check, check the ceilings so that you're prepared for the incoming storm and that you don't drown. And of course, your safety is our mission. So wear a jacket. What to do before a typhoon? One thing you should check if there are any leaks in the ceiling. Now you don't want your house to be flooding now, do you? Look at this poor man. His ceiling is absolutely destroyed and is clearly rotting. Look at that. There's so much water he could wash his face. Always check your food supply if you have any food. Like this man here, going to grab a jar of mayonnaise. Remove small branches from trees. Oh, that's a big branch. Go, go to higher ground so that the flood water won't reach you, like these two. Look at that. Don't just sit around and laze off the day. 
you should check the news or something. Do something at least. Don't just freaking. Oh, what are you doing? Don't do that. See? Look at this man. He is responsible. He's checking outside for the weather and ch even checking the radio. Oh, so for today's news, we're gonna uh, talk about something. Uh, there's a typhoon coming, you know? Uh, a typhoon. Look at that. The man is surprised, and I think he's about to prepare for the typhoon. Now, another great way to check if they're about the weather is the newspaper. Like this handsome man. Checking the newspaper is a great way as it will give you a few more details about the weather. Oh, I think he just saw the typhoon warning. Oh, better go prepare. Ooh. Watch this. English, English. So here we are in the what to do during a typhoon? Have you ever just wondered, mm, this typhoon sucks, I don't know what to do? Well, here are the things that you should do. First thing is that you should always be updated on the news about the typhoon. You'll never know when it gets worse. Don't go outside, because the rain is probably very strong and dangerous. And when, it, and when you are going to go outside, don't do it, because it's still dangerous. Another reason why it's dangerous is because things could fly at you, like this. Look at that, box. Another thing you should do is be drunk during a typhoon. You should always be aware. Not like these dumb drunken boys. Like, like, no, don't do it. Just don't do it. You should always be alert. Not like these two bumbos here. Drinking beer, just singing to Pusong Bato. You know? You gotta be prepared, man. This isn't something you should do. Here's our drunken boy finally noticed it was raining. Another thing you shouldn't do is play when it's clearly raining. Look at these. These guys, they're struggling to even keep on their feet. And look at, and look at the guy on the phone. Th doesn't even notice. Like, you shouldn't do this as well. Another thing you shouldn't do is go outside without any kind of protection. Look at this girl, playing in the rain, she could catch a cold. Yep, I agree with that man. She's definitely crazy. Got him! Another thing you shouldn't do is talk to your Joa. Because that's just dumb. You should be planning on how to survive. Look at that. You think you're gonna sur survive with just a few picks? No, you ain't. You're gonna die. Don't, don't jump. Don't die. Don't jump outside. Another thing you should do is always think. Don't think about really dumb things. You think on how to survive. For example, your food supply. Another thing you should do is remind other people. For example, this man was pooping on the toilet. You see that? Without the other people, he might have died on the toilet. Another thing you should do is check your food. See if you have any food left. And if you have little food left, just ration them. Hmm. It appears this man wants his favorite food. 
what to do after a typhoon. Like always, you should always be updated on the news. You should check the radio, the TV, or any kind of news. Even a newspaper can help. You should always be updated so that you know what to do next. You'll never know when the typhoon gets stronger. Another thing you should check if anything was damaged. If you're gonna go outside, never ever forget that you should wear a jacket. Because you might catch a cold and get sick and die. Like this man, he's being responsible and wearing a jacket. Don't touch dangling wires, or else you'll die! No, look at this poor boy, he's about to die. Another thing you should do, is you shouldn't stand under trees so you won't die. And if you end, you should also help other peoples, especially the people who have died relatives. You should help to keep the community alive. Another thing you should do is pray so that other people will live. And of course, always check your food. Your safety is our mission. It is our pleasure to say thank you. Thank <laughs> you.